Hey everybody, Homeslice Henry here, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some very fun battles where the goal is to delete as many Charizards as we possibly can with Rock Throw Tyrantrum. Tyrantrum is a Dragon and Rock type Pokemon with the moveset of Rock Throw, Crunch, and Meteor Beam, and today I'm pairing it up with a Toxicroak and a Sludge Bomb Guzzlord, and the goal is Maximum Charizard Destruction. This is definitely not a team that I would recommend for climbing, but I was able to have some fun sets with it. So without further ado, let's hop into the matches and go Charizard hunting with Rock Throw Tyrantrum. Hopping into the first match, picking up a positively Toxic Rook into Shadow Snorlax. Opponent save switches into a Shadow Claw Giratina, and we have a great response available with the Guzzlord. Guzzlord will be taking super effective damage from Dragon Claw, but the nice thing is, is since the Shadow Claws do absolutely nothing, Guzzlord actually has a very nice matchup here. I'm going to be able to connect with the Dragon Claw, tank two moves from my opponent here as they go for their second Dragon Claw, and then I should be able to make it to another Dragon Claw before they make their third move and retain switch advantage without giving up a shield. Dragon Claw is going to KO, opponent is going to look to send back in the Snorlax, but these licks are heavily resisted by the Guzzlord. Guzzlord making it to a Dragon Claw, this will get some solid chip damage onto the Snorlax. Snorlax may look to try and go for the farm down here, Guzzlord makes it to the Dragon Claw, but dies with the move. In comes Toxicroak, unfortunately I do lag so I don't get my counter through. They fire off the Body Slam. I'm able to get my counter through as they go for Body Slam number two. Opponent should look to switch, and they do. It's Shadow Charizard in the back. Get absolutely deleted by Rock Throws. Tyrantrum on an absolute rampage, taking the Dragon Claw and farming down the Charizard. Back in comes the Shadow Snorlax, but Shadow Snorlax is just running out of HP. Crunch gets the shield and the defense drop, and Tyrantrum gets the farm down. We've got a Core Breaker on the lead in the next match, Toxicroak into Swampert. Swampert is good matchups against both the Toxicroak and the Tyrantrum, so this is going to be a tough situation to be in. I try and go for a catch onto the Guzzlord, but my opponent goes for a catch at the same time as well, and now I have Charizard aligned against Guzzlord. Definitely not what I was hoping to see, as I would much rather have the Tyrantrum on the Charizard. Dragon Claw is going to connect, opponent is firing off their own Dragon Claw, and I will be able to tank this. Guzzlord has a massive HP stat, Guzzlord looking for the farm down and gets it. Opponent sends back in the Swampert, and I'm firing off the Dragon Claw. Dragon Claw will get some solid chip damage here, Guzzlord cannot make it to another Claw. The good news is, is Toxicroak wins CMP over Swampert, so I can bring back in the Toxicroak, go for the Mud Bomb, and pressure a shield from my opponent, and now I'm gonna let this go. My guess is they're probably going for the Hydro, and they do. In the back, they have some spice, Shadow Staraptor, in comes Tyrantrum, and the opponent concedes the match. We see a tough lead again in the next match, Toxicroak into Defense Deoxys. Deoxys has good matchups against this entire team, so this is definitely not a good spot for me to be in. I'm going to fire off the Sludge Bomb, Sludge Bomb able to connect onto the Deoxys. I go for the Psycho Boost catch, but no luck. My opponent holds onto their energy, and they're going to send in Obstagoon. I definitely had to bait out the Obstagoon, as it would do incredibly well versus the Rock Throw Tyrantrum, but man, I am in a very tough spot here. Obstagoon will fire off the charge move, and they are running Cross Chop. Obstagoon actually decides it doesn't want to take any extra damage so they're going for cross chop number two that is going to be lethal but the good news here is now i can get the farm down with toxicroak and toxicroak will get an energy lead the unfortunate thing is deoxys is absolutely loaded i switch into tyrantrum anticipating the blind psycho boost and that's exactly what they do they go for the psycho boost in the back opponent running shadow drapion now, Drapion is going to hit for quite a lot of damage with Crunch here. Crunch is going to connect onto Tyrantrum, and they get the defense drop. That means, unfortunately, they're going to be able to fairly easily Poison Sting me down. I go for the Crunch. I'm just looking for chip damage, as I desperately need to put this into counter down range for the Toxicroak. In comes the Toxicroak. I will be able to tank a Crunch here. I have to hope for no debuff, and there's no debuff. But the question is, can Toxicroak make it to three Mud Bombs before Deoxys makes it to three Psycho Boosts? This is going to be close. I do have a slight energy advantage going into the matchup, but Deoxys, of course, does pace slightly faster than the Toxicroak. So this will be very close. They go for the Psycho Boost. I'm farming up. They throw again. I have to hope they don't have the back-to-back -back moves here, because if they do, and they do, I'm going to lose the game. I have the back-to-back -back Mud Bombs here, but unfortunately, 
It is a CMP tie. I'm not able to get my second Mud Bomb. Psycho Boost will KO the Toxicroak. Picking up a great lead in the next match, Toxicroak into Verizian. This is definitely where I want to see Verizian on this team. Opponent is going to save switch into Shadow Dragonite, and I respond with Guzzlord. Guzzlord is going to go for the one shield farm down play. I am running Sludge Bomb, as the goal was typically to have Guzzlord be the save switch, with the hope being to bait out a fairy type. But unfortunately, I was more often than not met with steel types than fairies, so Sludge Bomb ended up being more of a liability. But in this instance, I can hit for super effective damage versus Verizian. Here, I try and go for the Dragon Claw, but unfortunately, I overtap and I'm not able to get that damage. Verizian is going to fire off the Leaf Blade into the Toxic Rogue in the back. It's Shadow Charizard. In comes Tyrantrum, and the opponent concedes a match. We see a familiar lead in the next match. Toxicroak into Defense Deoxys. As I mentioned, Defense Deoxys is extremely tough for this team because it has positive matchups against every single team member. I'm going to fire off the Sludge Bomb. Last time I tried to catch on 10, it didn't work. So this time I'm actually going to catch on 12 and I am able to get the catch. They baited with a Thunderbolt, but either way, it is going to be resisted. Opponent now going to send in Air Slash Mandibuzz, but this is not the greatest response to a Guzzlord safe switch. Unfortunately for Mandibuzz, Air Slash is a very mediocre fast move, so Guzzlord, despite the fact that it already is at a health disadvantage, should be able to put up quite the fight here. They're going to be firing off their charge move, going for the Aerial Ace, and Aerial Ace, same as Air Slash, they're just both very poor moves overall. Farming up with the Guzzlord, making it to another Dragon Claw, Guzzlord able to outpace the Mandibuzz, and Dragon Claw gets a shield from the opponent. That's fantastic. I'm totally fine with giving up Switch. They overfarmed quite a lot with the Mandibuzz. I'm just going to let that go, and now I can send in Tyrantrum. Tyrantrum will be able to absorb this foul play no problem, get the farm down, and have a small energy lead for whatever my opponent decides to send in. Opponent has Guzzlord. I'm going to send back in the Toxicroak, and they're going to be firing off the Dragon Claw. Dragon Claw will be shielded. I have to watch for the Switch into that Deoxys. Opponent sends in the Deoxys. And I'm baiting here. I think I might need to bait to win this game. Mud Bomb gets the shield. And it's a CMB tie. That is a massive bait. I now should be able to slightly over farm. And I just have to hope that I'm going to be able to get rid of the Guzzlord after the fact. So I will farm one past the Sludge Bomb. Sludge Bomb should be lethal. Opponent is going to be sending back in the Guzzlord. Guzzlord looking for a potential farm down. I can't make the Sludge Bomb. I have to hope that a Mud Bomb will KO. Mud Bomb gets the KO as we survive a very close game. We see a familiar lead in the next match, Toxicroak into Swampert. Same game plan as before, I'm going to farm up 8 counters and look to catch what I'm expecting will be a Hydro Cannon bait onto the Guzzlord. So I farm up, get the catch, now the question is, is it the Hydro bait? And it is, that's a big catch. Opponent now going to send in Shadow Charizard, that's a bit unfortunate for me, as ideally, again, I would much rather have it on Tyrantrum. Dragon Claw does quite a lot of damage, I'm going to return fire with a Dragon Claw of my own. This will be getting my opponent extremely low they commit the shield I continue to farm opponent goes for the farm down and in doing so they're gonna have to give up a second shield so they've now double shielded a shadow Charizard just for it to get deleted by Tyrantrum I send in Tyrantrum opponent went for the blind blast burn that's double resisted and Tyrantrum gets the farm down in comes Swampert I switch back into the Toxicroak and I can fire off the mud bomb this does some very solid chip damage they go for the hydro I still don't know what their final mon is, so I will commit the shield in case I need the Toxicroak. Swampert staying in. Opponent makes a very nice catch, catching the Mud Bomb onto their Trevenant. Trevenant is going to try and make it to the Shadow Ball here, but the good news about Toxicroak is that Toxicroak is going to win CMP over the Trevenant with the Sludge Bomb. Sludge Bomb is going to get that Trevenant into perfect farm down range for that Tyrantrum. They go for the Seed Bomb Bait. That's not going to KO. Tyrantrum gets the full farm down. Bring back in that Swampert. Tyrantrum makes it to the Crunch. Crunch will knock out that Swampert. And that is a good game. Picking up a great lead in the next match. Toxicroak into Alolan Muck. Opponent is farming up some energy. They save switch into Scrafty. And it looks like the opponent's team is absolutely core broken to shreds 
by Toxic Oak. I'm gonna bait because if they're this weak to Toxic Oak, odds are they're probably shielding just about everything. They're gonna fire off the foul play with the Scrafty. I will be able to survive that, continuing to farm and going for the Mud Bomb. Let's see, are they willing to double shield? They are, they've gotta be so weak. And I'm just gonna send in Guzzlord to absorb this energy. It's a power up punch from the Scrafty. Guzzlord, get the farm down. Opponent gave up both shields and now we see why they have an Obstagoon in the back. So their team is triple weak against that Toxic Rogue. Dragon Claw is going to connect. Obstagoon firing off the charge move. Are they running cross chop? They are not. They go for the Night Slash. I'm able to make it to another Dragon Claw. And this is definitely going to start adding up onto the Obstagoon. Obstagoon now approaching the red health opponent is going to aggressively send in the muck. I bank the Dragon Claw for later. And now it's Tyrantrum time. I'm able to tank a Dark Pulse, so I am going to let this through. Opponent does go for the Dark Pulse. A bit of the unfortunate thing about no shield in there is now, odds are, I'm probably going to be shielding Acid Sprays. Opponent is going to go for the Acid Spray. My defense is debuffed. But I don't really care. I'm looking for the farm down. I want to meteor beam that Obstagoon. I shield again. It's the Acid Spray. Tyrantrum gets the farm down. And it's meteor beam time. In comes Obstagoon. But Tyrantrum flips the script. KOs the pseudo fighter. And gets the win. Tough lead in the next match, Toxic Rogue into Charizard. Going to be safe switching into the Guzzlord, hoping the opponent is going to switch out, and ideally that they could switch out into a fairy so I could get to use my Sludge Bomb. But they're going to stay in with the Charizard, fire off the Dragon Claw, and they're actually going for Dragon Claw number two here. This is not going to be enough to KO. I will be able to withstand that damage on the Guzzlord and make it to not one but two Dragon Claws here. I'm firing off Dragon Claw number one. Charizard will commit the shield. I'm going for Dragon Claw number two with the Guzzlord. This isn't time for my opponent. They decide to double shield the Charizard. They leave with so much energy. In comes the Tyrantrum opponent. Wasn't sure what came in and I get the snipe before they can throw a move. Opponent sends in a Galissapod, and Galissapod is going straight X Scissor here. So they are just looking for chip damage onto Tyrantrum. Rock Throw is hitting for super effective damage as they go for X Scissor number two. I'm just going to shield once and fully commit to the farm down. Opponent is going to have to switch, and they send in Jellicent. And oh boy, this backline is getting swept by Tyrantrum. Crunch deals massive damage, and I get to go for Crunch number two. This will be lethal. All that's left in the back is the Galissapod. Opponent sees the writing on the wall and concedes the match. We've got a bit of a tricky lead in the next match. Toxic Rogue into Tapu Fini. This is definitely a situation where having a more PvP optimized Toxic Rogue for the Ultra League would be beneficial. I'm farming up well past the Sludge Bomb, and I'm going for the Mud Bomb bait. Mud Bomb does get shielded. That is quite nice. I'm farming up to the Sludge Bomb, looking to bait again. Unfortunately, my opponent will throw first. Here, I should have thrown right away, as I end up going for one in the move, and that's going to cost me my second shield. I should still be able to bait and make it to the Sludge Bomb here, but it's going to be very close. As I mentioned, I run the Hundo Toxic Rogue, so it's not very tanky. I'm farming up, making it to the Sludge Bomb, but what a catch by my opponent as they end up catching the Sludge Bomb onto the Giratina. But wait, this could potentially set up Guzzlord being able to Sludge Bomb Tapu Fini, because I'll be able to get rid of the Giratina, and Tapu Fini resists all of Guzzlord's standard moves, so they have no reason to not bring in the Tapu Fini, and then I will finally get to Sludge Bomb a Fairy type. So I am looking to farm up here. All right, here we go. I am going for this Dragon Claw, undercharging, so I can get a little bit of extra energy. Bring in the Fini, but they don't bring in the Fini. You've got to be kidding me. They send in Obstagoon, and I still do not get to Sludge Bomb a Fairy type. Oh, that is absolutely tragic. And at this point, I just resign the match. Hopping into the final match, picking up a positive lead Toxic Rogue into Shadow Polyrath. Definitely where I want to see Polyrath with this team. And my opponent is staying in this matchup, which is good for me. I'm building up to the Sludge Bomb and baiting with the Mud Bomb. Mud Bomb would do some solid chip damage even if it lands, but it's able to grab a shield. That is terrific news for me. I'm shielding up what's probably going to be an Ice Punch bait. Continuing to farm up with the Toxic Rogue opponent firing off another charge move and you know what i'm gonna double shield if they're staying in this matchup i'm guessing that my toxic quote could have value in the back 
I'm going to over farm quite a bit and then go for the mud bomb here. Opponent, I'm expecting them to let it go, but they commit the shield and then lose CMP. So Toxicroak able to get rid of the Shadow Polyrath, still with a bit of health remaining. In comes Shadow Drapion. I'm going to farm up to the move and catch the crunch onto Guzzlord. Let's see, what does my opponent have in back here? They're staying in. They do get the debuff, which is a bit unfortunate for me. If they're staying in, odds are they're running Sludge Bomb as their second move. And since I'm debuffed, that is going to hurt. Sludge Bomb does a lot of damage in the back. It is not a fairy type, but it is going to be Skuntank. So the good news is, is that I win. The bad news, again, my dream of Sludge Bombing a fairy type will not be accomplished here. I'm farming up with the Toxic Rogue, and I'm going to be firing off the Mud Bomb. This will be getting rid of the Skun Tank. Opponent is going to send in the Drapion. I could go for the Mud Bomb, but instead, I'm going to send in Tyrantrum. Opponent knows it's over. They go for the Bad Manners Sludge Bomb onto the Rock type, and that is a good game. All in all, I did have a lot of fun with the team, even if I didn't get to sludge bomb any fairy types. As I mentioned at the start, this is not a team that I would recommend for climbing. Tyrantrum, definitely more of a spice pick than a pick that I would recommend for climbing. But something that I will recommend is I believe within the next coming days, or it might be out by now, depending on when I release the video, that Chillis is uploading a fairly similar team, but with some important changes that actually turns it into a really nice climbing team. So definitely go check out his video if you haven't. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And a special thank you as always to our members here on YouTube. The support you guys provide is sincerely appreciated. So thank you guys oh so very much. And until next time, I've been Home Slice Henry.